Epilepsy is a common disorder that affects the central nervous system in more than 3 million Americans. The Epilepsy Center at the Air Neuroscience Institute at Hartford HealthCare was recently recognized by the National Association of Epilepsy Centers, one of only two in the state. Joining us now to talk about it is Dr. Gabriel Martz, Medical Director of the Epilepsy Center. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Mackenzie, thank you. Well, it may surprise many to know that people may not even know that they have epilepsy. Can you explain how it's possible that someone may not even be aware of this? Yeah, seizures can be uh, very mild or very severe. Severe being what we think of where someone might fall down and shake. But milder seizures can still involve the memory centers of the brain, which means that part of the brain is having a seizure and can't make memory. So often people will have subtle seizures, maybe blank staring and not even know because they won't have the memory to know that they could escape. Well, kind of like you just talked about, there is a wide range of some of the symptoms. Can you talk about what epilepsy is for maybe someone who may not know and what some of the symptoms are that people may also not know about? Yeah, basically epilepsy is defined as having seizures. Your brain is able to make seizures. A seizure being something that happens in a given moment in time. And so epilepsy means having more than one seizure over time, not caused by something else. Uh, you know, the, when a brain has epilepsy, it also often has other symptoms. People often experience learning disabilities or emotional disturbances or any number of other, other factors that can impact life. So we, we focus a lot on seizures as the primary piece, but we also focus on all those other aspects that really help make your life the best life you can. And specifically, when we talk about refractory epilepsy, can you talk about what that is? Yeah, that's a very important concept. Basically, it means that seizures aren't getting better with medicines. For most people, medicines is a chronic thing they'll need for, for life, but will control their seizures. For some people, it simply doesn't work. And even on multiple medicines, two or three medicines, they're still having seizures. And that is the definition of refractory epilepsy, and it tends to come along with those other factors I described, learning challenges or, or thinking, dizziness, a lot of other symptoms like that. So we, we focus a lot on refractory epilepsy because... We want people to be, know that there are other treatments besides medicines and that sometimes optimizing their medicines can help you. And we mentioned it a little earlier in this interview, but being recognized by the National Association of Epilepsy Centers, pretty exciting. Congratulations. How does this set you apart and what kind of treatments are available? Well, we strive to bring the best care possible to anyone in Connecticut who can access our clinics. We have seven clinics around the state including Northfield, Cheshire, Bridgeport, and we'll soon have one in Mystic. So basically what the level four recognition means is that all the work we've put in to provide that great care to people in, in, in Connecticut, uh, it, we've achieved it. So when you come to the clinic, we'll be focusing on two main factors. How can we help you live the best life you want? And how can we stop your seizures? And if medicines aren't working and, we, and the other factors in getting your life where it needs to be aren't working, the level four recognition is a sign that we have a lot of other treatment options, mostly surgical treatment options. And those are mostly based in Hartford. Uh, and it's taken a lot of work to build up all the pieces we need to really make sure that we're doing a safe job and that we're giving uh, surgery to the people who it'll really benefit. A lot of time to spend talking to patients about that. But that's really what it means. So we can provide any type of care you might need for epilepsy. And if we have people at home who are watching and want to know how they can reach out, you just saw it there on the bottom of your screen, that link, hartfordhealthcare.org backslash epilepsy. Dr. Martz, thank you so much for all the work that you're doing at the center. My pleasure. Thank you for your time.